In this overview video, we're going to be looking at how easy it is to manage contracts, uh, track equipment, uh, schedule preventative maintenance and inspection reminders, uh, look at the customer portal uh, that customers can submit uh, repair requests to, and then finally wrap up with uh, account management and mobile access. So let's take a look. So we're going to start by looking at the organizations. So ShareNet is a highly flexible web and mobile platform uh, designed to help you track, share, and report on information in more productive ways. We're all about helping you simplify work, and we're doing that in several areas. Uh, first of all, we're going to look at organizations. So we're going to take a customer. We'll look at customer B. And we can track any kind of information. Uh, you can add custom fields to this form very easily. You can relate assets, the customer's equipment, to the customer record, and then you can define service contracts. Here we have a, a, a full service contract with a start date of uh, this uh, past February and uh, ending in this coming up uh, January. One of the amazing capabilities about the ShareNet platform is its powerful reporting capability. We're just going to look at a couple reports real quick. Uh, service contract value by start date over the next 12 months. So let's say You've got uh, contracts that are starting, uh, these are pending, or are already closed over the next 12 months, and you want to see those on a report. So now we can see for the given month, uh, coming in December, uh, we have uh, this report or uh, contract is pending, and its value is 55,000 uh, US dollars, and then you have another contract for January. So this report would show all the records uh, in the next 12 months so you get a nice projection of, of what's going on here. Another report while we're here, uh, let's say you want to um, contact customers with uh, contracts that are expiring in the next three months. So we'll look at here and you can see you've got the contact information right on the report. Give them a call and um, try to get that contract renewed. So now let's take a look at the asset equipment area. So here we can see all the assets for all customers. We're going to open up this one particular asset. Again, we can have custom fields, any kind of values you want in here. You can see the upcoming preventative maintenance uh, that you can schedule, and that can be either meter-based or date-based. Uh, meter would be maybe hours every 100 hours you need to do something, uh, or date-based could be a calendar, and that will automatically create a work order at that future date. You can see all the maintenance inspections history right here. They would be listed here, uh, regardless of their status. And then you can also see um, the service contracts that uh, that asset is related to, if it is. And then, of course, uh, the organization it's related to. Again, with the powerful reporting, we're going to look at uh, preventative uh, maintenance and inspections due in the next three months. So this gives you uh, the idea of who the customer is, uh, what the equipment is, and what the actual PM that's coming up uh, in the next uh, three months. One nice capability about a reporting system is that you can actually schedule reports. So here we're scheduling this uh, report to show us the next uh, PMs coming up. Uh, and we can run that on the first day of every month, send that to an email address in PDF or Excel format. Another powerful capability of the ShareNet platform is its calendar system. Here we've got the ability to, to define multiple calendars for various purposes. Here we're looking at a, a calendar with uh, the technicians or mechanics and the different uh, work orders or, or work that they have to do that day. And you can uh, drag these around and, and move them around as appropriate and then look at different views. ShareNet also provides a customer portal where they can log in and see all of their existing uh, work orders that are associated with them, and they can add a new work order uh, simply by clicking Add, and then they can also look at the assets uh, that they have um, under contract with you. This makes it very convenient for them to submit repair requests uh, that come up from time to time. We already looked at this earlier. But now let's act in the role of a salesperson or account manager. One of the values of ShareNet uh, is that it has uh, built-in CRM uh, capabilities, uh, customer relationship management, where you can manage customers, prospects, vendors, uh, and all the contacts related to that. I'm going to go in and change uh, to follow-up calls, this list view drop-down. And now as a salesperson or account manager, I can uh, know exactly what I need to do today. This can be filtered by the currently logged-in user, so if you 
have multiple sales reps. They can have their own accounts and have their own follow-up. I'll go into customer B, and then if I give them a call, um, I can change the, the last contact date and set the next follow-up date. And then I can keep notes, uh, any notes that I've um, had conversations with or emails I can copy and paste in here. And ShareNet also has a powerful dashboard. Uh, this allows you to create multiple dashboards for different purposes. Each dashboard can have its own set of charts uh, that you can see. And it gives you a different view of looking at your data. So to wrap up this overview video, we're going to look at the mobile app. So whether you're on a tablet or a smartphone, you can get to all uh, the core data uh, that we've looked at earlier in the full web application. Here we're going to take a look at a customer, B, and we'll see that you can um, for that given customer you can see all their uh, assets as well as uh, contact information maintenance inspection records and then service contracts as well so why don't you contact us today to learn more you can fill out the web form give us a call or send an email